is one of the founding members of the People's Party, an exercise he performed after quitting the Democratic Progressive Party, TPP, in the 2011. His former United Democratic Front Member of Parliament for Jukawa Central Constituency. This week, he rejoined the Democratic Progressive Party, the party that allegedly tortured him in 2011. Salim Bagas, the former National Organizing Secretary for the People's Party, is my guest tonight. This is Kabi Rostred Talk. I'm your host, Rod Zimsong, and thank you very much for joining us. Most welcome to the program, Kabi Rostred Talk, and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. You have told the nation that uh, you have rejoined the Democratic Progressive Party, a party that you quit in 2011 and helped uh, founding People's Party. How do you explain this decision? Uh, you see, to, uh, first and foremost, I'm, um, I'm a bona fide uh, Malawian, and I've got a vision and I've got uh, wishes for this country in prosperity. I quitted the uh, uh, DPP uh, in 2011, the party which I helped forming that time during uh, Dr. Bingu Wamtarika's uh, time. But as you know, politics, that time we had also other members who had joined the party who come from the same area where I come from, and uh, they wanted to show that, no, they are, are superpowers. People like who? To, sorry? People like who? No, 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 I don't want to mention people's names. But no, I, they are politicians, they are politicians. You tell me, people like no, who? No, 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 don't worry. I, 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 do, I don't want to mention people's names. Are you telling me, are you telling me that they overshadowed you in the party? That's what they, no, no, they overshadowed me. But you see, they, they used the gossip so that they, uh, I should not be, uh, um, be powerful in the, in the area. So they pushed their fight? Yes, they did. They did. And I didn't want to argue with anyone else. This is why I decided to quit, to give them room. Unfortunately, they are not there today. That's why I decided, after seeing what is going on in, in the country, that uh, we had the gone for pause in 2014. And I thought Malawi would have disengaged itself from politics and help the ruling party and the president, who is running the country now, to give him all the support so that whatever comes in the country, uh, for instance, let's say there's hunger, we would have taken the hunger as something which Malawians should all unite and fight that hunger for the betterment of the country. You've talked about you having a vision. Yes. Mr. Bangas, you've been in a number of political parties. You helped founding the Democratic Progressive Party. You were in UDF. You've been in People's Party. Now back to the DPP. What vision have you felt fulfill in all these political parties? All this time that you want to fulfill now in the Democratic Progressive Party? Not that I've felt. Not that I've felt. But you see, leaders differ. There are some leaders who would take advice. There are some leaders who do not take advice. What I've seen in the, in, in, in the DPP, we've got a listening leader. A leader who has invited even opposition parties to come and, and, and they advise government how they want the government to run. But they are failed to do so. Talking about leaders, it's interesting. You're talking about the current president. Yes. But uh, two years ago, you were in government under the leadership of Joyce Banda. Do you want to tell me that, uh, we'll, we'll talk about her in a moment, but do you want to tell me that uh, she was not a listening president? No, I'm not talking about Joyce Banda. I'm talking about leaders in general. I'm not talking about any leader. Uh, but obviously, you, oh, oh, but, but, but obviously, people hearing you talking about uh, leaders not being listening, obviously they will look back at uh, your previous party. Maybe, back, uh, maybe you can mention their names, but for me, I'm not talking about any leader here. I'm talking about leaders in general. Now, Mr. Vargas, can you tell me, why should the people of Malawi take you seriously as a politician now? Because uh, it appears you're becoming a political vagabond. I'm not a political vagabond. I'm telling you that the DPP party, I, I helped forming that party. I've told you that I helped that party forming that party. You do for the very same thing. All what I'm saying here, I, I've told you that leaders So what I've seen is the vision and the, what you call the, the, the policies which uh, the, uh, Professor Arthur Dito Tariga has put in place. It's for the betterment of this country. So, you see, I, 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 I want to help the party as a Malawian, as a Malawian citizen. It's my right to do so. So, in what capacity are you going to help this party? Because uh, here is a party that is in government. The president has got the cabinet ministers, members of parliament. You are not even a member of parliament, not even a councillor. How do you intend to help him? You know, uh, people think that you can only help a, a, a political party or a government or what, whatsoever by having a position. I'm not looking for any position at all. The position which I've, 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 I've resigned from, from the People's Party, 
I was just saying number four because they just done that. But I've, I've, I've managed to resign. So can you? I, I don't need a position. So can because you? I want this to help as, as, as a citizen of the country. And that's what I'm asking you. Can you explain to me how you're going to help him? Because I'm looking at uh, Peter Msarik as a person who has a lot of people surrounding him. So advisors, yeah. ministers, <laughs> even ministers of parliament. Let me give you this example. Mm. When Malawi is playing against a foreign team, you go there to support the team. You go in the ground and play and, 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 and become the player yourself where he gets an number 11. You are a supporter. You, you just support to, to, to encourage the team so that the team should do better. This is exactly what I'm going to do. So well, what is it in this context? Are you being a mere supporter? A mere supporter, that's all. And I'm very happy about it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that you're talking about uh, issues of uh, economy and the like. What ideas do you have, Mr. Bagas, that can help? No, no, no. Uh, my, 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 my idea is, you see, I'm, 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 I told you, I'm, I'm a bona fide citizen who wishes this country well. I don't want to be part and parcel for, for people, uh, among the people who are busy in fighting the president uh, without offering any alternatives or offering um, ideas how this country uh, uh, can run better. I don't want to be part and parcel of them. Today in the program, I'm talking to Salim Bagas, former National Organizing Secretary for the People's Party. <laughs> When you left DPP in 2011, a lot of uh, things happened to you. We saw you, your house being set ablaze in a long way, and we were told that uh, it was uh, the DPP that was behind all this. In politics, my brother, you don't have permanent, you don't have permanent enemies, you don't have permanent friends. Full stop. So, are you here repeating that uh, whatever happened to you that time, it was the DPP that was behind all those attacks? You know, I don't have any comment for that one. What I'm saying is, by guns are by guns. Uh, you don't have a permanent uh, friend. You don't have a permanent enemy in politics. Has the party accepted you? Has it received you? Oh yes, the party has received me very, very warmly yesterday. I mean, I was, I was received in in in, in the plant at the regional headquarters, and the people are very happy. Even the supporters here in uh, for uh, uh, DPP, they are very happy indeed that they have rejoined the party again, so that we should work together and forge ahead. Mm -hmm. Did you consult your former party, People's Party leadership? Uh, consultation, I, I did not consult anybody. I've, I've resigned. Once you resign, you don't consult. You just resign. Mm -hmm. You were so close to the former president, Joyce Banda. Did you inform her what I'm, that uh, I don't, Madam, I'm, I'm leaving the party, I'm joining I, the DPP? I don't, I, don't, I don't want to discuss about personalities here. I don't want to discuss about personalities here. Whether I did or not, that was private. No, but uh, you can tell me. Did you inform her? What I'm saying is whether I did or not, I, that was private and I don't want to discuss about personalities. People that have commented so far on your decision to rejoin the DPP are saying that uh, you, Mr. Braggers, you're frustrated because uh, the People's Party didn't treat, treat you well the time it was in power. You were like uh, sidelined. Do you agree? Let me tell the people who are saying whatever they want to say that they are entitled to their opinion. But the truth is, I went to the polls, which is called a convention, and I won, I was elected by the convention. I was not appointed by anybody. So whether they treated me well or not, that is by gone, I want to move forward. You challenged the appointment of uh, people like Uladi Musa and Kamulepo Kalua when they were appointed as the leaders of the party. Are you sure you're not frustrated, Mr. Bagas? No, I was only really trying to form the opposition of the party. What, what I did was there was nothing wrong. There was nothing wrong, there was nothing personal. All what I did, I wanted the party to follow its own constitution, period. But you lost that battle. Who said I lost? Because these people that you challenged the appointment are still leaders of the party. No, no, no. I the court had, 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 had given direction, and the way they had vacated the, the, the injunction, they vacated the injunction on technical grounds. And all what they said is that they had jumped uh, a, a state where we were supporting a legal subcommittee of the party, then if that had failed, then that's the time we, had go, we were supposed to go to court. Yes. As I'm talking to you now, the case is in court. But uh, what, what makes you feel that uh, these two, or I should say the acting president of your previous party, that is, the People's Party, is not fit to leave the party? No, I see. As I'm in GBP now, let me not talk of GBP anymore. I have moved forward. I don't want to, 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 to go backwards again. Has it become a bad party all of a sudden? That's not what I'm saying. All what I'm saying is, I don't want to discuss about personalities. I don't want to discuss about the party. I've moved to GBP. 
that is it. I've seen that the DVP has got good policies. I want to support this party, period. Is it true that uh, you're not in good terms with um, former President Joyce Banda? What I'm saying is, I don't want to talk about personalities. I don't want to talk about people. All what I want to talk about is the DDP, Professor Akadudu Amusharika, so that in 2019, he bounces back to the government. How can you assure uh, people listening to you now that uh, you're not uh, going back to DPP for your own uh, personal gains because you are broke now, you want uh, opportunities in the, in the government and the like? I'm not broke. To start with, I'm not broke. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fed by anybody. I feed myself. I don't want to talk about my wife. I don't want to talk about what you're asking me. What I'm telling you is, in DPP, DPP is not a bank. DPP is a political party. Now, you, you, you seem to be a very ambitious person, politically that is. You, you're a member of parliament, and in previous elections you stood again um, in the parliamentary elections. Let's talk about your plans now, because you are in the part that is in the government, and you've told me that you want to help it, uh, fixing some of the challenges that we are facing. Where do you intend to start from? No, no, no. At the moment, all what I'm going to do, I'm a mayor supporter in DPP, I've joined DPP. Whatever comes in the future, I don't know. It's only God who knows. So I cannot talk about the future when I don't know. Oh, I'm asking you uh, ideas that you have, plans that you have, because it can please the president to appoint you a cabinet minister today. You know what? It, 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 it doesn't, it will not take it from, uh, the president shall not take my, uh, to appoint me uh, to be a cabinet minister from the radio or from the media. It is my way. How I'm going to assist in working, that's when he can evaluate whether I'm worthy to be a cabinet minister or not. But my C, my aim is not to become a cabinet minister. My aim is not to become anybody. I'm saying I'm a mayor supporter. If anything comes, I'll thank God that, no, thank you, thank you, Lord. That's all. Yeah, true. You look at your work and that's exactly what I'm asking you now to say. Where do you intend to start from? In the past? No, no, I, I, I don't want to tell my plans to the media. What, what I'm going to tell is I'm on the ground and the, and, and the people shall see uh, for themselves what, what I'm doing and it, and it will come up from there. So you don't want to share those plans now with us? No, I don't want to share those plans with us. That's what I'm going to do. What I'm saying is, I'm a supporter. I'm going to work. I'm going to try to, 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 to strengthen the DPP party through structures and everything. And that's, that's, that's for me. For the time that you've been in politics, uh, there was, uh, you've been there for a long time now. Okay. What do you consider to be your achievement? I've achieved so many things. Things which I can remember of now. I, I also, I once told you, I'm, I'm that type of a person who just, just, just doesn't take any, 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 any direct. You remember, in, in 2000, I was a member of parliament of UDF. When UDF had brought a bill in parliament to say that um, Adimad should be commercialized, I was the only member of parliament for UDF who stood against my own party, opposed that bill, and that bill was defeated in his parliament. That's the type of a person I am. So, do you see yourself uh, staying in the DVP even if um, uh, such circumstances come? You see what? Opposing something is not a crime. But you should oppose and have alternatives. You cannot just be opposing things and without offering any alternative. You have to have alternatives as well. Because if something is wrong and you want that something to be corrected, you must have an alternative. So, what for alternatives if they see that, no, this is not good, why can't we do it this way or that way? <laughs> so, you're ready to provide uh, those uh, alternatives? Oh, yes. If you were to be given an opportunity of uh, giving advice to the president, because as we're talking now, Mr. Bagas, the country is facing a lot of uh, challenges. What advice would you give the president? No, I cannot talk to him from the group unless I'm asked a specific question from the president, that is how do you look at the APCD? Then I can, I can offer my views. But at the moment, I cannot say that no. My intention is to advise the president to A, B, C, D. No, I only joined yesterday. You, you've told me that uh, you've gone back to the DPP because the people who mistreated you are no longer there. Are you telling me that uh, you're a person who hates competition? I don't hate competition, but I hate gossip and lies. You hate gossip and lies? Yes. All right. When, when you look at uh, the part that you have actually rejoined, where do you think it has uh, done well and where do you think it would have done better for the past two years? You see, uh, first and foremost, the part, the, the part which it has taken, it is doing well. All these parties people have praised, 
the parties who have operated with the other money. But you know, from the outset when he, um, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Arthur Peter Mtalika was sworn in, that's when the aid was already suspended during Dr. Uh, Joyce Banda's uh, uh, government. But you see, Malawi is moving yet slowly, it has got its own challenges, but he's trying a day and night to make, uh, 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 to provide the necessities of this country. So for me, I'm sure that if the, the donors would have actually given him his own aid, or given the aid to a new leader who has just been thrown in, Malawi would have been somewhere now. So all is well with this government? I'm saying that the country is facing some challenges, but with the way the president is performing without the donors, I'm sure he's trying all his best. Since you lost your parliamentary seat, you've been uh, trying to find your way back to parliament. You've contested in the previous elections. Is this move not a strategic one? Just maybe to strategically uh, position yourself uh, so that uh, you compete well come 2019? What did you mean competing well? I mean, initially every party was the primary. So if, I have to, if I've got a mission to stand as a member of parliament, I have to go through primaries. So if you mean I'm actually trying to strategize myself, how? If I want to study judge myself, that is my personal ambition, and I'm just to do it like that. But you don't wait or without the GDP, if I want to stand, I'll stand. But uh, you haven't given up on um, those plans to reclaim your parliamentary seat. I haven't given up politics. You haven't given up politics. Are you answering my question? Because uh, you can be a politician, but uh, outside parliament. Are you what, I'm saying, what, I, what I'm saying is, I haven't given up politics. That's all. Mr. Bagas, uh, time is up here, but uh, maybe before you go, uh, how would you want the people of Malawi to remember you in as far as your political career is concerned? Oh, what I'm trying to say here, I, I wouldn't mind whatever people are going to say, but what I'm going to say now is, as Malawians, the moment we go to the polls and the, the president has been sworn in and there's a government in place, Malawians, whether you are in opposition or not, we have to disengage ourselves from policy and help the president of that particular time and his government or her government without running politics 24-7. By so doing, Malawi shall never develop. Malawi shall, ever, Malawi shall develop if Malawians themselves will unite and help the president and the government of the day. We are supporting the government of the day, shall mean, because uh, does it mean that we should be joining the party in government like the way you have done, or no, 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 how no, do you no, explain no, this? Joining the party. I've told you already that I will go where there is a listening government and a listening president. That's all what I'm trying to do. I don't want to be criticizing something which I don't have alternatives. I will offer alternatives where things, I think these things are not going right, and I will offer alternatives as well. But we do have one president at a time, which means... You're telling me that you'll be in government all the time? I'm not saying I'll be in government all the time. I'm saying I'll offer whatever I have, whatever it is, in the listening government. I've seen that the DVB, for me, it is the listening government. The president himself has offered the opposition that if there's anything which they think that they can offer in government, they should go to state house and have a, have a chat with the president and they offer, offer their views so that they, the country should move together. Your time is up. Let me once again thank you very much, Mr. Parker. You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you all the best. Bye-bye.